And trees, shrubs, tropicals, and much more. They have everything you need. Uh, let's say hi right now to Corinne Seguet, who is with us. Hi, nice to have you here. Hi, Dylan. We also have uh, Cindy uh, Cluett with us at Beyond the House. Thanks for having us. You're a fantastic business. You're a horticulturist as well? That's right. Okay. Uh, now, where exactly, Corinne, is Beyond the House? We're located in Russell, Ontario, which mm -hmm. is just a small town about half an hour outside of the city on the east end. And not, uh, I mean, it's worth the drive because absolutely, you've got all kinds of stuff here that you can't find anywhere else in the city of Ottawa, No, which is exciting. Now, can I ask you, Cindy, so a, a bit of a reopening is coming up. You've done some renovations. Yes, we shut down for a month and a half, and now we're reopening uh, February 12th, so this coming Tuesday. And uh, we look forward to seeing all the regular customers and hopefully some new ones as well. Mm -hmm. So what exactly happens at Beyond the House, Corrine? I know I gave you a bit of an introduction, but run us through some of the uh, items people can find there. So. Beyond the House, I would say, is kind of a boutique garden center. Uh, we have the core garden center with all trees, shrubs, annuals, etc. But we also have a boutique gift shop as well, where we carry predominantly indoor plants and pots, all sorts of them, succulents, tropicals, as well as giftware, jewelry, mm -hmm. all skincare, kinds of things. All the things we love. All the things you love, including yes. food. I even uh, noticed you have a Newfoundland chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, what is that? What, if we uh, love it, we carry it. Can I ask you quickly, though, what is the difference between normal chocolate and Newfoundland chocolate? Um, taste. Their chocolate is yeah. just really creamy and delicious, mm. okay. and they're so much fun to work with. I'm driving out to Russell, Ontario. <laughs> now, now, why exactly did you close? I mean, what, what's new? What's, what's exciting? As far we just as closed the... to uh, renovate the inside of the building because I needed to add some office space. Uh, we're expanding heavily in the, uh, the garden center and landscape design maintenance install business is definitely expanding. So mm -hmm. um, I needed some more office space because we keep hiring and growing. It's exciting. Well, that's good news. Yes, it is. That's fun. We're talking about terrariums here, uh, and I know um, what's what's going to happen is we're going to put together a terrarium? Yes. Okay, so uh, perhaps uh, you can uh, tell us, Cindy, exactly what a terrarium is. A uh, terrarium is basically, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just a vessel. And what we do is we'll plant it up with, uh, for uh, this terrarium, I'm going to be putting together succulents and uh, actually a little cactus. Can you tell us what a succulent is? A succulent is uh, basically a plant that has very lush foliage. It, it retains a lot of moisture in the foliage itself, so it requires very, very little uh, uh, water. Okay. Okay. So easy to maintain. Easy to maintain. Good. The only way you're going to kill them is if you overwater them, mm. essentially. So, so I would probably still kill this. Terrarium. Most people yeah. kill them with kindness. Gee, that's not yes. good. Okay. <laughs> so, so what's the first ingredient that you put into a terrarium? First ingredient is cactus soil. You can't use a standard tropical potting mix uh, in with the cactus and succulents uh, because they'll end up rotting. They re it retains too much moisture. Hmm. So having a really good, well-draining soil mix is uh, imperative for something like this to work. All right. So let's add the cactus and soil. Okay. There you go. So basically, I just add enough. You don't want to add too much in the terrarium. The whole idea is to see the plants through the glass. And uh, then I'm going to pop the plants in. Um, what type of plant without, is that exactly? This guy's a little cactus. Yeah, cute. Yeah. And then this guy is a uh, little succulent, a little jade. jade. Is it a myth? To have a cactus in a house is, is bad luck. I've heard that before. I haven't heard that. Okay, one. good. So it's I a have myth. lots. That's just made, <laughs> so. up, made up all kinds of silly things in my own brain. And this is a little echeveria. So basically, when I make up a terrarium, it's really important to play with different uh, textures. So I like having, you know, you want to play off of the color of the foliage, the um, type of foliage it is, round leaf versus pointy leaf. Um, so yeah, it's all about having something fun here mm -hmm. together. And I know you could spend hours on this, quite frankly, right? Just making it nice, making it perfect. We only yeah. have a few minutes here on live television. You can have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And then basically at the end of it, what I'm going to do is I'll add in some rocks for just for um, some coarseness. And then I'll add some little rocks. Rocks come in all different colors. You can get it in the soft greens, the whites, the browns, the blacks. Um, I usually try to play off of the color of the foliage. So something like this, I'll end up adding some of the uh, smaller colors in here. I'm making a mess of this because I'm trying to do it fast. <laughs> that's okay. It looks good. But, uh, <laughs> looks nice. <laughs> yeah, except the plant's covered, but that's okay. <laughs> so anyhow, and then you can even add some little pieces of driftwood and whatnot in there just for uh, for fun of it. Not going to fit anymore. Could but. you add a lizard and put an enclosure on the top? You can, but when you put an enclosure on top, so you this can. terrarium itself does have an enclosure. <laughs> okay. You can add it. Well, don't put the I lizard in. You, you, can. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the cover on, but be very careful because <laughs> what happens is it retains a lot of moisture. So okay. you're going to be watering it a okay. lot less. Quickly, uh, one minute left. April 20th is something very special is happening, Corrine? Yes, it's our spring
entering into summer event, which is kind of the kickoff of the garden center season for us. So it's a, a day where we're packed with tropicals and, and wonderful plants inside. It's also a fundraiser with the Russell Ladies Night hmm. that, we, that we do in conjunction with them. And uh, people can buy a ticket, they get a discount off the plants. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we, oh, we have a barbecue. Yeah. So that's April 20th. Now, if people can't check you out, where exactly in Russell, Ontario are you located? It's 144 Craig Street. So okay. just as you come in off the boundary exit, you turn onto Craig and we're right there on the left hand side. But as well, right now, the beautiful pop up shop on Bank Street Joy. That's right. That's right. We've got some of our succulents and, and cacti there with Wonderful. the cacti. The I like that. <laughs> all right, Corrine, Cindy, thank you very much. Beyond the House, beyondthehouse.ca for more details and all these amazing things. Things for thinking spring and warm thoughts. That's well needed right now. Uh, much more daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.